Well, <laughs> we're back. We're back at the Nine Club. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We got another amazing episode today. We got a special guest. Special guest. Walker Ryan is here. Welcome to the Nine Club, Thank dude. you. Thanks for coming. Dude. Happy to be here. Yeah. yeah. A lot of things going on right now with Walker, you know? Yeah. A lot of things, you know? You know he lives in the neighborhood? I know. Fucking yeah. Venice, dude. You have, have you had any guests bicycle over yet? I mean, I guess Blake probably walked over here. Yeah, Bla- yeah. Oh, yeah, Blake's <laughs> in the zone. That's yeah. true. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was a nice little bike ride. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you have a light and everything? Because you're going to go home at night. Only yeah. as of uh, about a week ago. Okay, good. Yeah. Because yeah. they, they will I, stop you for that. They will. Like so weird. how long yeah. have you been in Venice now? So since March. Oh, March. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're yeah. still a newbie to the area. Yeah. I you feel know? like, yeah, I, see, I still keep saying I just moved here. Right. Which at this point is kind of a lie. But I know. Well, it's funny because like when you, you know, like your, your new sovereign part, you know, like there's all, you're, you're skating in the, in the hood, oh, yeah. you know? You see some of those West Side spots, Yeah. Huh? Mm-hmm. yeah I'm like, d- come on. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that I would skate, but yeah. uh, you know, they're, you they're see, in skate, the zone. He yeah. skated that ledge off the stairs off. Uh, Into the street. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Wow. Right. 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 Pretty crusty. It is crusty. Yeah. yeah. And I feel binocular... like someone must have done that before me. Though. Oh yeah. A lot, of, like, a lot of people have skated it. Like into the street. Like, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. I've only seen like Smith grinds and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to be careful with our planning because it's, oh. it's what's well, right. There's, the, well, there's cars there yeah. at all times, right. so we had to just like all right, ten to twelve street mm-hmm. cleaning, oh. one day a week. Right. A lot, a lot of that out here. There you go, people. Yeah. You know, yeah. if you want to go skate the spot, you know the, <laughs> yeah. you know the hours. But I'm not going to say the day. You know, oh. I'm not going to blow that out for the It's either audience. Monday or I was going to say Monday or Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah, check yeah. the signs. Right, right, right. We'll post it on our Instagram. Later. <laughs> yeah. You know, we'll... Uh, no, yeah. but welcome to the neighborhood, dude. Yeah, it's fucking you. amazing. Where did you yeah. where did you move from? That's an interesting question that I I've had like a hard you, time. I feel like uh, you I feel like you move <laughs> around a while. Lot. Well, I basically haven't lived anywhere for oh. the last like five years. Where, where, so I just had, a nomad. Yeah, you okay? Pretty much. You living yeah. in your car? What's going yeah, on? Little, oh, little, really? Little, little well, stuffs in the trunk. Oh. I have one of those secure trunks that you can't uh, you pop mean, open even if you. What are you? It's a secure truck. How is, what kind of car is this? It's it's a Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> Corolla. I mean, my point is, have you, trunk, can, good you can lock it so that even if they break into your car, they're not getting in the trunk. What about they could rip the back, you know, they, you could pull the back that would seats be, down. Yeah, but no, you can't. It has a little lever. You could pop There's it only, and then no, no, no. lift it. It doesn't, it doesn't oh, work. It doesn't work. Cut the yeah. upholstery. Yeah. yeah. Let me try to get in the trunk. I bet I can, yeah. Yeah. A couple it. knives and some tools, <laughs> you know. I'll, I'll get in there. Get a sawzall. Yeah. yeah. Bar, Cut your way into that. Bar, no, I've, I mean, from Ty. the last time I was had a spot was in San Francisco. Okay. Like right. 2012. And that car got broken into so many times just there. Oh. And then after when I would just visit. Okay. And every time everything in my trunk was safe. So oh. like everything would get, you know, taken. I, right. I, I'm pretty sure at one point someone broke in, took everything and then I think someone else came and slept in the car for the oh, which was so disgusting. I would Get sell that car. Thing. No, actually, I would just I would just, <laughs> just leave it with keys it. in there. Yeah, <laughs> fucking. How do you know what somebody slept? The smell, you, like oh. it was like walking, you know, like turning the corner into a homeless person. You know, Could that you kind imagine of stench. breaking into a car and slip like that? That's some balls, dude. Yeah. You know, I mean, well, my my idea that I've made up in my head is yeah. that someone stole something, and then someone else was like, "Oh, it's open." Might oh, as well, just might as well go. crawl on in. Yeah, it looks like a nice spot. Because yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you. It break could have been in. the dude that stole your shit. I know. I know. He just yeah. made, a little, made a little round. Yeah. And was like, oh, right, right, yeah. right, right. right. Yeah. So then, what were you? What do you mean? You so you were living in your car, pretty much? No, or, or? I wasn't living in my oh, car. I was, oh. I was, uh, couch just surfing. Couch surfing. Okay. Going on. I, I was pretty much saying yes to every trip. Every trip, that, right? Like, okay. was thrown at me. So oh, yeah, yeah, I just yeah. had no excuse. This to, guy right. goes to the craziest of places I've ever seen. Yeah, for, for tra- like for you skating. Patrick Walner. Yeah, Patrick Walner got me on the got me on the program, and then I just kind of rolled with it for the, the next modern five day years. Kenny yeah. Reed over here. Yeah, right. You know, pretty pretty much. Yeah. Kenny was much more committed. Oh, no, I yeah, would no, say for he sure. was like for sure. full on. All right. Living he was in Barcelona, going to countries like with just everywhere. dirt. <laughs> yeah. You're like, how you bring yeah. your board? Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, he, and, I've, he, and I've been with him on some of those. Oh yeah. Dirt right. missions. Yeah. But he'd like find the biggest hubba in like 50-50. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. fucking guy. Yeah, he's the man. Living so San Francisco was the last place. Yeah, that then, was the last place I had a like actual, rent paying spot. Okay. Yeah. Right. 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 And then um, New York was kind of the home base for the last couple of years. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Weaning my girlfriend lived there, and so I would like 
go on a trip and come back and crash with her crash. plant yeah. yourself right yeah. right 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 well you because yeah. you're you're from up north right originally right. born yeah. and raised i'm uh, from a, a very small town in the napa valley did you grow up on like a, a vineyard or anything or no i i grew up in a just a normal little house oh yeah okay my yeah. Fa- my father was a winemaker oh so well actually if i were to to be honest, I yeah. sort of did grow up on a vineyard. Like there was a vineyard, but there was a Guy's vineyard behind his me. Story. Like, I forgot. Like yeah, I, he's rewriting I look history. At my house. Yeah, yeah, no, there was a vineyard. It was this. It was the city's vineyard, some kind of like public, oh, okay. public land. Oh, okay. Um, so we'd play in it, roam around, but uh, that became a development. So it wasn't like I feel like a lot of people have this idea of me from Napa, like. I have an est- my family has an estate yeah, I mean, that's and there's the vision. vineyards and, I, and there are a lot of those people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was not one of but them. But that's a vision. Everybody's like, oh, I'm going yeah. to Napa this weekend. Yeah. You know, we're going to go wine tasting. Yeah. You know, I've it's never done thing. that. Raj, you? I've done it. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I did it for my birthday. At all. Oh, really? Yeah. Where'd, oh. You, where'd you go? I went to Temecula. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, what, that's, that's not Napa. <laughs> Temecula. <laughs> hey, what wine tasting yeah. though? Yeah, I did. Yeah. You did? Yeah. Good wines in Temecula? But it's crazy when you drive into his town or even your little zone it's like pretty beautiful just driving in never heard kelly use that word before know, right? yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's, it's fucking beautiful it's beautiful, beautiful out yeah, there man. it's, it's like laguna we'll have, to, we'll have to get you up there sometime sure <laughs> yeah, wine yeah, let's go yeah. i'm down you know take Could, a little trip you when's the last time you had some wine chris i'm a pinot guy oh yeah. okay pinot. i'm kind of a cab oh guy okay. myself yeah so growing up in napa i mean how, like that's kind of a weird place to pick up skating no is it or was it like popular out there or no it, it wasn't it it wasn't popular yeah. much at all so how did I you had a, there were there were a couple older guys that i saw and i pretty much just forced every friend of mine to Ooh. skateboard with me and like <laughs> we'd, like you know all right we're going off the jump ramp you're gonna figure it out but did your friends and have they, boards too or they we would just share share yeah. Oh, right, yeah right but i don't know i've i've always thought i've tried to figure out what it was exactly that got me into skating yeah i think the early inspiration was ninja turtles oh, i really? think those yeah i was obsessed with ninja turtles as a kid and i feel like who was they skating really, in Ninja Turtles? Like Leonardo or something? They just had boards. They did had they? boards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I never watched that cartoon. Yeah. I don't know. I did. Well, I didn't oh. watch it. I just was like, it was just like the toys and the yeah. whole thing. You right, know? right, right. But it wasn't like, oh, the Ninja Turtles skate. I want to skateboard. It was eventually just friend's brother had a board. Okay. Stepped on it and just, you know, From the there. drill. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So did your friends keep skating too? Or because... Uh, it was a while before I, f- I found some friends that stuck with it. Some new yeah. friends. Yeah. You had to ditch the old ones. Yeah, they just, they just weren't. <laughs> no, because you know, some kids don't continue ditching. doing it, right? Yeah. So you got to yeah. find, if you're into it, you got to find new friends to yeah. do it with. But it's know? funny you said that because this company's name is Old Friends. Kelly, trust me, dude. I'm, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> thinking, <laughs> over here. I'm thinking, you know, uh, yeah. I, it's all yeah, up the, in the mind. Yeah. 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 No, they're, you know, it was just like, I wonder what it was like for them because I would just, I would just like make them skate with me and I could oh, just maybe tell they just like hated it. So that's probably what that happened, made they just like, you. Yeah, it was like, come on, let's yeah. skate. And they're like, I can't today. And then, no. You know. no, I'm stuck with it. Yeah. <laughs> well, so it was probably around 12 or 13. So I started when I was seven. Okay. It was really like a group of like younger kids that I ended up like latching on to mm-hmm. and becoming really good friends. In with. Napa? Yeah. Yeah. David Cole was really the, the one that like. Crave. Yeah. Crave. Yeah. And then, I mean, it's not really true. I had friends like my friend Rudy from fourth grade on who skated with me. Oh, and okay. like they're, you know, yeah. they're good. I had a good crew. It was just kind of like, it, it took a while to find some friends who were just so like wanting to push themselves. Right, right, yeah. right. And then what, That's so what did you go trail. to like San Francisco to skate often too when you were, when you were older, yeah. I assume maybe, or well, maybe your I had family in San Francisco. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. And so Perfect. they would, uh, you know, drop me off at, um, EMB. I was yeah. dropped off were there before, but I was like so, you, what, what kind of, <laughs> <laughs> just a little lost ginger yeah, kid, no, no <laughs> idea what was going on. No, I, I don't really, my aunt lived in that building oh. right above the plaza. Oh. So we went there and I, I felt like I rolled around on the bricks yeah. and like, but I had no idea of what, what was going what on. Was there, yeah. But it was definitely Pier 7 where I would like, oh my God, Carl Watson, oh my God, Mike York, like yeah, no right. okay. recognized faces and, oh. and you know wow. so it was it was a uh, it was cool to have that like momentary glimpse into like the skate world yeah, yeah. from having watched uh you know watched some videos i, I saw that little penal code oh yeah we got the penal that code. that was my first or, video was that your first video yeah. oh yeah. wow and so that was just like everything i learned 
about skateboarding was that video. Interesting. You know? That was a great video. It is. Yeah. Aaron Mazer. Mazer, yeah. 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 Good music, soundtrack, too. Oh, good soundtrack, yeah. 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 The music is so good. That's when you didn't have to get rights for stuff. And yeah. just barging. Bar- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the skate videos had the best music yeah. ever. Yeah. yeah. Now it's all shit. Kids don't know. <laughs> yeah. On yeah. uh, my Instagram, on uh, my phone. It's all SoundCloud music. Yeah. yeah. Like my iPhone speakers get blown out sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I know. I like scare my girlfriend. Yeah. I accidentally <laughs> click the music on. Like, Jeez. oh, sorry. So then were, uh, were you just, I mean, did you get sponsored out there? Like, uh, I mean, uh, maybe shop sponsor when you were. No, I, uh, no. I ended up, my first real sponsor was a Play It Again Sports. Play It Again. Uh, okay. Rafael. How'd you rig yeah. that? It is, was is, a, is that a big comp? Is that a big like sports? Put, they're it's a, a chain. chain. Yeah. The chain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but the it's owner like a chain of, of used equipment. Yeah. Oh, it's used, new yeah. and used, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I was thinking it was but like big a, on the used. Like they would buy your gear. Play it against like sports. a Buffalo Exchange slash yeah. Dicks, pretty much. You know, yeah. <laughs> so this one in particular, skater owned it, and so he had like mm. a little skate section. Oh, perfect. And it was just, I mean, I I really didn't get much besides like some free shirts. Okay. And then the. uh the used boards of a lot of the San Francisco guys that would come in, uh, sell them. Oh yeah. Which was like so fun as a kid. Cause I was like probably 14. Mm-hmm. I think it was, it was around the chump on this, uh, era when yeah. that video was just all we watched. It was our religion. <laughs> and we knew like the new old guys or like whoever was part of that crew mm-hmm. were the ones like bringing the boards. So we would like get them. Yeah. yeah it was like, <laughs> I bet it was Frank yeah. and Gabe and like, yeah. yeah. But, uh, we, uh, but this was in San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And you no, still no, no, living it in, in San, Na- it was in San Rafael. San Rafael. Yeah, which is, is like in north between? of San Francisco. Oh, okay. Kind of in between, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Gotcha. But it sounds like a good place to go sell shit because you use shit, like a Buffalo Exchange. I know. You could I feel go like, there, is yeah. there, isn't there, a, isn't there a shop that's kind of like that out here? Oh, it's LA, not, LA Dave. Yeah, LA Dave. Yeah. yeah. But he does. LA, LA Skates. Does he really? LA Skates, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he doesn't buy you shit, does he? Yeah. Oh, he does? He will. take anything. That's, yeah. I, fucking, you can bring him roller skates. Let's look around here, yeah. Raj. Let's go over it. Maybe we need yeah, I have a, we we have have a stack a, of used boards we can get rid of. Yeah, I heard about that recently. I thought that was so sick. Dude, his place is so stacked already. We would just add. I almost feel bad. Yeah. Like, I've only, I think I've been there like once or twice, but I literally feel felt bad, like, were you trying shit. to sell stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. it's old stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, other people I knew, we won't yeah. name names like Daniel Castillo, <laughs> <laughs> would go in there all the time. And, you know, and I was just yeah. like, dude, like, let me go with you. This sounds fucking rad. Yeah. And I felt, I felt bad, yeah. like selling it more shit. It'd be funny to post up out front and just see who goes in there all day long. So, um, yeah, so I'd get, I'd get used boards from Palladian Sports. That okay. was like my early hookup. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, there, there is a shop in uh, my hometown of Napa. Okay. But I never, I never got sponsored by them. What you was know? it called? Like, Board Garden. Are they still there? Yeah, they're awesome. Oh. Like, I, now it's like we have a great Did you ever sponsor anyone though? They had like a little team, but I was like, even Napa was different than the town I grew up in. You know, it was like they kind of had their own they crew. You were in St. And Helena? Right. St. Helena, yeah. yeah. You were the, the, the other kid. Yeah, yeah. the other okay. little weirdo. The grom. Probably, yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. Um, so that's how it ended up working out. And then that led to um, Ron Allen sponsoring me. He had, wow. a, he had a skateboard company called Energy. Energy. Right. Yeah. How Ron you, had a did, lot of companies. Well, so yeah, right. did you? I mean, how did you meet? Ron it was a, it was a played again sports demo. Oh, played again. and he <laughs> was <laughs> ripping around. Yeah, they had a sick demo. And you were skating. Like, in... It was kind of like played again Satori, I think. So you were in the demo skating. Yeah, and Ron Allen was just like, "Yo, dude, yeah, like He's energy. Like, Let me get you get some boards." And then yeah. So were you I like on Ron. the team, or were you just like, oh, was yeah. he just? Yeah. You know, <laughs> did you have a tag in the bags or four one? No, they. How old was Ron at the time? So he, he, I think he was 42. Wow. Maybe he was just turning 40. Okay. But it was still like, oh my God, he's 40 and he skates this well. So. Right. And he's 50 something now. And he's, yeah. it's like he's nothing. Ripping. He hasn't missed a beat. Yeah. It's so crazy. He's amazing, yeah. dude. So did you, would you go out yeah. and skate with him? And, yeah, I, sometimes. Yeah? But I would mainly just, my, my friends and I were, would be filming and we were okay. just giving videos. Getting video. Yeah. But now what would he do with all this video? Like, would oh, he'd he make be- them. The first video was called Skateboarding is Da Bomb. <laughs> and I don't know if it's online. D A B O M B. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Kelly, Google that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. I know. I I looked a couple years ago, but What's I couldn't. Online? Your your old footage really surprised me because you do some gnarly shit as a little kid. Yeah, he's probably like, stuff that I never jump ramps done and since. stuff. No, he's like switch yeah. backside flipping like eight stairs and or like switch tray him when you're like fifteen or fourteen or something. Yeah, I I don't know. I was... <laughs> switch tray yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. but there are tricks that I like just I, I think a varial healed 
an 11 stair when I was so young, like 13 or 14. Oh and like, I, I want to do that again. I, don't, I've done I, know, that I wasn't since. even skating at 13. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't even know what I was doing. We need to talk about a switch trays and a switch backside flip. Switch backside flip is his trick. Well, yeah. I got to say. Down the love like, gap, we need to talk about. Yeah, like, everything. I was going to ask you. Hey, well, and ring con. Well, let's talk about it. You tried to switch backside flip uh, El Toro? I haven't yet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting. No. no, so love, you tried to switch backside flip it? Try. Oh, you did. did. He did okay. do yeah. it. Yeah. Tap touch four. Did he? Lucky that day. You've yeah. done a lot of switch backside flips. Yeah. You did the triple set, Sacramento. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, I, you actually, there's a billion things that I haven't. You could probably, <laughs> Nate, I, you probably forgot all of them, actually. Yeah. That, so that, I mean, that trick just feels normal to you. It's just a, yeah, it's I, just I a trick that's just natural. There's something about, you know, just flying backwards oh. and landing regular. Yeah. Backwards. I don't have to think about it so much, you know? Yeah, you've like, done a bunch of good, like, switchbacks I flip to Manny's yeah, stuff. Like yeah, that. And holding yeah. them for, you know, a little so, while. Sometimes, yeah. 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 <laughs> Pretty good. Can you do it on the stage? Did you switchbacks I flip up the stage before? No. Switchbacks I flip up, turn around, switch tray off. <laughs> yeah. Be a good line. Cool. Then maybe yeah. do something in the fountain. It. You know, yeah. gnarly that would be like 15 years ago. That would have been I know, like seriously, the heaviest shit. line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've never seen that. Just the turn around and then trick off. Like, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, yeah. dude. Yeah. Just stir some me. shit up. You stir some shit up. They push body going. burial. Were you just there like during the day or was that at night? Or The way that worked out was actually so funny because it was... Uh, so I, we were actually in Philly for an S-trip. Mm. And it was a... Trip. It, yeah, it was like, or no, maybe you weren't even there. I went for a. Um, you were there filming on your own, I think. For no, 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 while. it was for that. It was like a game of skate thing. It was whatever. Like oh, I was out right, for right, something. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so I had a a Red Bull trip okay. that was that I like had to work out. So I was flying out of Philly, and okay. then I was going to fly back to San Francisco. Right. But they screwed it up and flew me. They just got a round trip ticket to Philly. Okay. And so. I was about to have them change it, but then I, I remembered that that was around the time that they emptied the fountain. Mm. So I was kind of like, this could actually work out. Right. So it'll be like, it was like a month long trip. Brian Winning probably put soap in the fountain. <laughs> yeah. Had him, had him empty well, it. Well, so what we did is we called the city and, and asked them when they were emptying it, just to be sure. Because, and, and they're like, what the fuck are you calling us for? <laughs> yeah. That's a weirdest like, request. We're like, we want to we shoot, it was Dan Z, and this was like okay. genius. He was like, we want to shoot a wedding. Oh. And we want to be standing in the, we want our wedding photos to be in the fountain. Oh, so God. we're just cu- curious, like, when it's going to be emptying. Right. And they confirmed that it was, like, around that time, the same oh. time. So I'm like, perfect. I'll right. just, uh, and you had, you, like, fly back to Philly instead and then just wait until they emptied it and then Had you been there before? We'd looked at it oh, with water, it. Okay. but I'd never skated yeah. it. And, you know. Interesting. And wow. then it was just it was just cool the way it worked out because then it was like a morning session and just we did it. It was able to get it. Yeah. How many tries do you think? The filmer Penny put the all the tries up if you want to watch them. Oh we did. Yeah. I think I counted, but I can't remember what it was. But it was like it wasn't that long. Oh. But I got smoked. I mean, okay. I don't even know how that I was able to do it. Damn. Like I did one like slip out where I just like that fountain is so slippery. Yeah. And so like landing and not fully rotated, I slipped out and like oh, hit chest. my chest so hard. Like, I don't know how I didn't split my chin oh, open. Geez. So I got lucky. Damn. Yeah. Was That's it only good. that one time though that you tried it? Yeah. No. Oh, wow. You ever tried, yeah. you ever think about switch tray? Yeah. I was thinking about it. Yeah. Thinking about it. Yeah. No, you don't want to try it. Like, I was out there at the time when it was empty again. Oh, okay. And it just like, it was so cold that yeah. time. And like, people were going for it. And I heard Antonio almost did it. And like, mm-hmm. that oh. would have been And uh, Kyle good. Nicholson too. Oh, Kyle would probably almost. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You should have rolled so up on their session. Yeah, like, <laughs> you tried it with that. <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, yeah. oh, you're trying that? Shit, well, trying I always love the story of, uh, was it Chris Markovich and Deerdick doing that down Carlsbad? Like battling kickflip? Oh, really? I don't know if it was them, but I like think that, that I, the idea of that is so funny. Yeah. Like yeah. two dudes like, trying the same trick right. trying a big to get it gap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so maybe it would have no but it was one of those things like i i got a trick there i'm like lucky to have even gotten one wow i'm not gonna just like force it and especially then, oh, if other dudes are trying it just seems kind of yeah, weird yeah. that's like the for sure for that's sure. like the weird etiquette thing about this it's skate. not weird it's yeah. ed- it's etiquette yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's like normal it's, right it's, you know there's so many to me it's like common sense yeah it's to like, me too but yeah. like i could understand how you know for especially a kid coming up or right. whatever it's just like me, I want to get it. Yeah, I don't care. Like, sure. especially if they have an appreciation for you know, like iconic skate spots. Of course, yeah. right. And then yeah. Rincon, also you uh, switch trades. That was not huge. just like show up and do it though. That was like 
eight times going back. Oh, like, really? Was that when yeah. we were living together? Dude, I, I lived with him down in yeah. San Diego. And that was the crazy thing was that, like, you know, he would go to school and I'd just be at yeah. home. I'd go skate on my own and then I'd come back and he'd come yeah. back and be like, Oh, I switched trade ring con. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. Like, like you would just come home randomly with like these gnarly fucking tricks and yeah. I, you, it just, it would just be normal. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, so you were going to college down there, right? Yeah. You see uh, San, San Diego. Diego. Yeah. How, how, what, what, was that like your parents wanting you to go to college or was that you wanting to go to college? But Because you're skating at the time too, right? Yeah. You're on, you're on Organica well, at the time? Yes and no. Like I oh. was, uh, by the end of high school... I was really determined to like be a pro skater, okay. go for it. Right. But I didn't have sponsors backing me, no. and I didn't have any any reason to, let's say, move to San Francisco or definitely Southern California. Was like I don't know anything about that place. Yeah. So, I mean, I had always been a good student. I'd been on a college track, and like I, I don't know. I understand the value of a college education, and it was right. definitely like part of my upbringing to appreciate that for sure. And. Um, just, you know, I was, I don't know, school, like, I understand how school is not for everyone, but I, I always had an easy enough time with it and just like, <laughs> lucky bastard. <laughs> I mean, it was, yeah. it's like, it was a lot of work too, but I understood like, you know, I want to get but into But I mean, especially college. when you're trying to go after this skate career too, yeah. and then like school, it seems like a lot of shit to do but at such a young age when you're trying to do one or the, it's like do one or the other, right? Yeah. It's which like, is like what... I feel like that sometimes has to happen for kids. But right. for me, I looked at it like, all right, it's UC San Diego is a really good school. Okay. It'll put me in San Diego, which is like a whole new world right, right. where like the skateboarding, you know, industry mm -hmm. exists. Mm -hmm. And were you on honestly, organic at the time? I was getting boards. Yeah. But, That's um, what I'm saying. Yeah. But I didn't even realize this is the funniest thing. I didn't even realize that Organica was based in San Diego and Carlsbad. Oh, you didn't so know. So when I yeah, it was so funny. And so I would be like ordering boards and then figure out like wait they're just coming from like 20 minutes away like yeah <laughs> can i go there but like i didn't really have that kind of relationship like it wait, wasn't wait, wait, like, wait were you getting boards from expedition or organica at that time it was organica okay there was a little okay. there was a little stint where i was getting some expedition yeah, boards but uh right and then i heard yeah. you just you were not feeling kelly hart <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> i want to be my own man yeah. Fuck this guy. Yeah. Carl, you know? Carl Watson's way tighter anyway. So That's was, true. Yeah, That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I was, oh, yeah. That's the smartest I thing always... you said all fucking night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was always the hugest fan of Carl Watson. Oh, yeah. And so that was like, oh, his brand. I want to be on that. Yeah. And Adelmo was really the one that uh, Got facilitated you it. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I met Carl at a demo. Right. Carl relayed my tape over to, the, to Matt Daughters mm -hmm. at KO. And then they started sending me expedition boards. And I was like, I mean, I had getting boards. Right. This is insane. Right, straight from a place like Ko, I was psyched. But I, was, you know, kind of wanted to get on organic. Like, you never, <laughs> Carl, but you like, didn't say up? anything. Like you kept getting I mean, expedition was, boards, and you didn't say nothing. Well, so I met Adelmo at skate camp. Okay, and that, and he he heard that I was getting boards, and was like, well, "What's up with organic?" I'm like, "Yeah, I know. What's up?" Oh, okay, <laughs> and so he yeah. sort of, I think, told Matt, like, okay. "No, Walker wants to get." Mad daughters. Yeah. Oh, so then they switched yeah, the switched switched program. Up, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So I mean when but you're when you're in But anyway, so yeah. So by the time I get to UCSD, yeah. I'm like, this is the coolest place ever. Like that campus, if you ever cruise around, is a skate yeah, yeah. park. Yeah, there's a lot of skates. Yeah. yeah. And I immediately meet a whole bunch of local San okay. Diego kids who are coming up, John Looper and like a lot of the, you know, like skate mafia crew and people from Trans World and and so I'm just going on sessions and, right. and honestly the funny thing about college, like for me, I had so much more free time than high school. I mean, it was like, you know, two, two or three days a week of classes. And then, oh, so you were doing mellow college, but you graduated though, right? Yeah. I mean, it was a what full, it was a full is, mellow college, two or three days a week. I mean, <laughs> I, mean, I know yeah, people I just, that are full, full, full force. Yeah. I mean, it was just a, you know, an undergraduate program oh, I was right. on. I mean, it was, it was a lot of, it was also a lot of work, but I was right. just able to time manage. Were you, you like know? living in the dorms there at all yeah. or? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at his face. So maybe you were. I had a crazy dorm. <laughs> oh, you did. Situation. Yeah. yeah. What? What, yeah. what? Why? Why was it crazy? It was just funny. Funny. Like no, the polar opposite of that. Oh. UCSD is like a nerd school. Okay. It's just like math and science. People determined to go to med school and right. just like, it's it's a very academic, okay. um, kind of weird social environment. So what was going on in your dorm room? So I just had this. They they packed three of us into a room that's meant for. Two. Okay. And it's it was just like one of them was a gamer and mm -hmm. he would just stay up all night playing video games mm -hmm. like under his 
desk in a really weird position, like <laughs> crawled in a ball. <laughs> like the, the, the real concern was my other roommate oh. who was, uh, I was uh, living, so I had the bunk bed, he had the okay. bottom and he, he had like immediately found a girlfriend who basically just like moved in. So there was oh, really like God. four of us. It's like, <laughs> the worst, <laughs> dude. Was she yeah. buying toilet paper, no, paper towels she or vacuuming? Like watching, was she doing anything? Yeah, she was just like watching entertainment TV or whatever. Yeah, yeah it was like, so it was a pretty uh, trife situation. That's such and a weird one when you're on top of the bunk bed. I know. And you're bed. waking up to things. <laughs> right. You want to wake up to. Yeah. yeah. Imagine like yeah. going to the bathroom, like he's hooking up and then this foot comes down. To, like, get <laughs> out of, get out of the bunk bed. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, sorry, guys. Yeah. Gotta take a piss. It wasn't like, all right, cool. Like, where's the frat parties or where are we so going to party? You weren't partying like, at all. You were just skating just and skaters, doing your homework. Yeah. Okay. Like, so, I I mean, just, it makes more sense. He now, was definitely you know? partying. Yeah. No, but with uh, yeah. skaters yeah. is what I mean. Yeah. Like, like okay. the call. I, eventually, I met people, but it was honestly, like, I'm a pretty social guy. Yeah. Like, I like to talk to people, and it was really hard to, uh, to like, make friends the oh, first year for me at UCSD. It was oh. weird. Yeah. So, we, let's go back to, uh, you know, you're, you're getting boards from, you're on energy. Oh, so we're taking it back to yeah. you know, Ron Allen. I'm sorry, Ron Allen. Yeah, Ron yeah. Allen. So Ron Allen's giving me boards. Yeah. It's just dream come true. He's right. making, he's putting out these videos. Giving and are you living, bomb, where are you living others. at this point? I'm still, I'm a, in, you know, high school kid okay. in Napa, right. St. Helena. Yeah. Your parents are stoked. You're getting free stuff. They're, you're showing yeah, them. Yeah, they're, they're like, not Whoa, buying my weird. Christmas boards anymore. And they're Perfect. just like, all right, good for you. And, um, but I always worked too. So like I had a job at a movie theater. Oh. For okay. my for my high school years. I worked at a cafe at a, at college too, oh. which was pretty fun. Okay. Um, but they, they were hyped to see some, dope, you know, dope, like dope. that the delusion of being sponsored was like kind of coming. Yeah. True. Okay. <laughs> One day, <laughs> mom, dad. One yeah. day. Yeah. So you said yeah. you guys did a video and all that. And then yeah. what, so, when was the point where you like switched? So I started writing for a skate shop, um, another skate shop in Berkeley, oh. 510. And you they quit, play it again, or whatever it's called. I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the first time I ever had to just quit. Something. Okay. It was hard. So honestly, everything that happened for me in skateboarding really happened from skate camp, that Visalia skate camp. Mm -hmm. I would go as a camper, and then I would volunteer there and, and do video interning or whatever I could to just get, out, mm -hmm. get to that place. Did you ever go? I never went, no. Kelly, I know Kelly's good. To so where? Yeah. To Visalia skate camp. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's the best the place. The place is awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so since I'm from such a small little, like, nowhere town, really, like... Right. There's nowhere to meet and sort of yeah you go to skate. The, isn't it yeah. expensive though? Did your parents have to pay? It was, isn't it like five, I mean sometimes I would like I would like dollars, say maybe? a thousand yeah. bucks. I feel like back know? then it was like four hundred bucks okay. a oh, week really? or something. Yeah, and I would have to like you know earn that's like a week, week? For it. yeah a week yeah. long huh? right yeah. yeah but um anyway that's where I, I met pretty much everyone I met five one zero people who got okay. me on their skate shop I uh, met Tony Tave who got me on Circa Sick. Delmo organica so like everything kind of came wow. from that place when so you were like, a camper or when you were interning when i was mo mostly when i was interning okay yeah right. so when i was uh you know basically make like helping make the skate videos and then skate on the side it's oh, like, okay yeah. but um i love that place if yeah. you guys ever have a chance to go it's element skate camp now element, but it's right. like, and so you know i quit to ride for 510 they were going to be making a video yeah and it was in filming that video that i was able to like get sponsors okay so, so you had quit energy i did quit energy too was it Toronto's for another board sponsor or for just for, for, for honestly the funny thing was is it was a i think i actually quit saying that you was it it was like energy no it was like it was it was something so funny i think like black label was maybe going to give me boards and i'm like no this way. is kind of like a, a company like fit. that is really super, odd. super yeah. strange yeah. Yeah. yeah and so i think i got a couple black label boards okay. from salmon a guy which is so bad did you see him at skate camp Again, yeah, yeah, I think it was a skate camp uh, connection. Can okay. you imagine his life if he went with Black Label? <laughs> Black Label was sick. You just probably wouldn't went to school though. He'd probably be. Oh yeah, just like full lifestyle. Yeah, PBR shit. life. Yeah. Okay, so then from there you you go down to San Diego and all that, and then all the college stuff happens, and then you're getting yeah. expedition boards, which turned into Organica boards, yeah. and then when was yeah. the defining moment when you got on Organica? They just sort of surprised me with a little web video oh which is no, funny like i them footage. Like, yeah okay. well, we were we were like this this guy dana shaw mm -hmm. um who was working for ko at the time okay was just 
down to skate with me. He'd Sick. like seen my footage and knew that I was close. And so he would just come and pick me up. I didn't have a car. And so okay. I would just end up on sessions with him. And he really kind of just made it happen because he had, by after a little while, we had enough footage. And then they just oh. made a little, and you're on the team now. Sick. Yeah, that was really rad too. That just came out like, welcome to the team. It was cool. Welcome yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there'd been conversations, but they, I don't know if you remember this, Kelly, but there was a, like, a, there was going to be an It's Official, like, bonus yeah, yeah. video or yeah. something like like what was it like the uh like deluxe edition um, this, or something it was some edition yeah um i forget what it was so they were sort of, so they were leading me on with that like we're oh. gonna put this dvd out and you'll okay. be in it maybe in the extras or something i think then, having the web thing is better uh, well it, than having yeah the, and, it, and it being was in the bonus DVD. and it was early in the in the web probably part thing. the character to get him to film yeah maybe yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. true but i just think of the web thing that's your own thing you know yeah. and it's on the web i, I don't no, i don't think the, it's better the internet parts back then were like it was it Few wasn't far between it was, yeah, yeah there weren't yeah. too many they were, they were kind of special at the time yeah yeah, yeah. 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 well you could stand yeah. out on your own instead of being yeah. in this like bonus yeah DVD it was cool i mean honestly right. I, I was so happy the way it all came together Dope. it was sick Dope. and then Just at this time going. you're still you're on circa yeah so that kind of helped get me on circa okay so now you're on organica off. and then they put you on circa yeah fully. yeah yeah well who, didn't you say tony tave was the one that kind of hooked you up with that or yeah that was when he was on, like, he was, like, one he was of the, the dude. Big, huh? yeah, right. Was the, Appleyard the on there, too, at that time? No, I missed Appleyard. Oh, oh, <laughs> so bummed on. Yeah. 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 yeah, I probably bought more Appleyard shoes than any shoe. Dude, I've I had a bunch bought. of Appleyard shoes. Like, he was shoes. my yeah. favorite, yeah. It's one Still of my is, favorite yeah. shoes, too. It had yeah. the two little, like, ridges on the side yeah, of it. Yeah, it just had a cool that? look. Yeah. I think I had some, like, navy blue ones or something. Why didn't you tell him that when he was here? I don't want to boost his ego, you know what I mean? Like, come on, bro, I got to keep it cool with these guests, you know? Yeah. So Tony Tave get you on Circa? Yeah, he he really pushed me. You're still going so to school cool. at this point, or did yeah. you graduate? No, no, I'm still going to school. So now yeah. you're making money. Yeah, which was a funny thing because yeah. then it was like, all right, cool. Like I'm paying for my own apartment, and yes. you know, but like still going to school. Get it was like, I mean, I treated it like a dorm room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although my second year, I had a I had a dorm room that had a view of Southern California that I'll probably never be able to afford for the rest of my life. It was like how, how much above is... La Jolla farms okay. which like i mean if you're looking down i mean think about it, you're looking down on the la jolla cliff houses like that was my okay. dorm room wow like, it's pretty awesome. i'll never have that at the end i could like see the tip of la jolla and all the way to san clemente no, like let's, for a guy it never, was insane yeah for a guy who never went to college or anything okay. it's a dorm i'm speaking for all of us yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how, how does it when you when you pay for school yeah is that does that like is that all inclusive like you get your or do you have to pay for your dorm room separately it's like it's a, a housing fee you know there's oh, like fees the fee. way they do it okay. like because even though i went to uc which is still a public school oh yeah it's uh they just pack on all these fees so okay. that's one of them that you right. know then makes the tuition okay less so how much do nice. you remember how much like a, a were your parents i can't remember for all this stuff i was um i was very lucky and had a little um assistance from uh my my grandmother had left a little oh, money no. yeah. okay wow and then i had some i had some gr i like got some scholarships and grants and okay stuff oh too. look at you wow not that Jesus. much but he's a like, smart dude i know yeah. what's your iq just, <laughs> do, you have, do you know your iq <laughs> I have no idea. No. We should all I take an IQ test here. I'd, you know, I'd, like, I'd, like I'd be see. nervous about an IQ test. I feel like an IQ test... I think it's... You'd come in hot, I feel like, on that I, one. I yeah. think you're right. Yeah. Fisher yeah. writes I sarcastic right. answers yeah. or something like yeah. that. I know. I'd probably <laughs> fuck you the whole thing the, up. You'd trick you know? the test, yeah. It'd be interesting, though. I'd love to see Kelly's IQ. <laughs> I'd be say. interested to see my IQ, too, actually. But you know what? I think it's just a number, though. Right, Raj? It's just a number, you know? Sure. <laughs> well, I think I'd come up in the high, you know, one sixties, one seventies. What what's the <laughs> high? What's the highest score you could get? I have no idea. What about SATs? You know your SAT, Raj? I don't even think I took the SATs. Really? Yeah. I didn't take them either. No, yeah. no. You know, like when, especially with with tests, like I pretty, I didn't test very well. No, yeah. Okay. Test. I wasn't like a. I'm not like a brainiac kid who could just take a test and yeah. get me in. Like I, it was, for you me, it was more like, st yeah, like, uh, yeah. yeah. But so now you're making money though. Now you're on Organica. Yeah, so I'm, at, I'm going Circa. to school, but yeah, I didn't have to, cause I was working at a cafe at first. Okay. Which was, and then you'd come home and like do all this homework and like essays <laughs> or whatever. And I'd be like struggling to skate. That was the only <laughs> thing I was doing. Right. And he'd come Jeez. up with like a video. He'd go to, I think that's why you went to UCSD. Cause you just really wanted to film a video part oh. there, yeah, and, yeah. And, I, and I did. I feel I, I do. I, yeah, that's what I got out of my college education. Right. I feel like all, I feel like your video parts yeah. are like in different cities. Yeah. Like you, you have a video part in New York, then you have a video part in like SF, then now down here. Yeah. Like you're kind of all yeah, kind of all it's over all the place. place. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
did you turn pro while you were in college? No. No. So yeah. you graduated college and then Well, the funny the funny thing is, is I technically did turn pro first. I grad I walked in the graduation, but okay. I had like 20 units that took me 2 years to finish. So I didn't get my <laughs> I didn't actually get my diploma for a while. And I was like kind of worried that it was never going to happen. But how does that work though? They they still let you walk but you have to go back to school to finish? Yeah, so I went to a community college just to get like the oh, remainder just to get of the, the units. Oh, yeah, yeah. gotcha, okay. Just because um, for my major or whatever, I right. had finished all the requirements, but to graduate UCSD, okay. you had to have a certain unit count. And you were and close short. enough. Yeah, they... so they were like, okay, you're going to do it. And I was almost like, I don't know if I'm going to do it. Wow. Because <laughs> like, I was like, okay. I just was blowing it, like missing signups for oh, community college. Geez. And then like, I, I took a class twice, you know? Okay. Like I didn't, like I'd already had taken it, so it didn't count. And right. Like, oh, Why'd you no. do that? Why? Because I just like didn't add it up right on the, like, the <laughs> syllabus says, you know, this history 101 That's is That's a lot this. of time, dude. Yeah. Raj, did you, gra- did you graduate high school? Graduate high school. Did you? Yeah. Did you go to any community yeah. college or anything? I was going to, then I decided not to. Seems about right. Nope. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted to skate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the way it goes. Can I interject, though? Of course. Because yeah. I, I, listen, I listen to the, the pod Oh, a yeah. Lot. Okay. Like a lot. Okay. I mean, it's like uh, my, you know, I'm sure you hear it all the time, but it's the morning... It's Monday, Monday morning routine, commute, right? You know? yeah, but I like the pod too. I feel like you guys are nailing it. Oh, with thank that. you, bro. But I'm always getting little snippets uh-huh. of your story, right? But right. I'm like, I'm really curious. I feel like there's gaps. Like I know your appearances and videos, yeah. And obviously, right. like, yeah, right. But yep. like, I'm kind of curious. Like, when did you get like your first like? Hookup. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you've been it, waiting so long I'm for this glad. moment. Where this is like, <laughs> let's see, like probably 120 hours I've committed to listening to you talk, <laughs> but I've never really heard anything about. It. Well, I'm glad you asked. Why. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm glad you asked. You know, um, no, actually, people ask in the comments all the time, yeah, really. especially Roger too. Like they want to see uh, both of us in the hot seat, right. not, not at the same time. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> you know. Nobody fucking wants to know about me. No, I'm curious. We don't have to get too in depth, but I'm more just interested, like, how did you first start getting, like, chocolate boards? Oh, Because well, that's probably, like, the moment. Long story short, right, I was getting boards through Tim Dowling, hooked me up. He filmed mm, for yeah, World yeah. Industries at the time, you know, mm-hmm. when Blind and all that were, were popping, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah. So he, I was getting boards from Roddy Mullen, you know, oh, World really? Boards or Blind Boards, right? Yeah. And he brought me, wanted me to send him another sponsor me tape. Mm-hmm. And I said, no, dude, I just, I sent you a sponsor me tape already. Well, you, you know, why dissed, do I get you dissed Rodney Mullen? I, I, yeah, I kind of did. You know, I said, I was, th- why do I need to send another tape? I just sent yeah. you a tape. You want to see more footage? <laughs> did you send a lot of footage in the first place? I have a couple clips. I don't know. Okay. You know? So then uh, Tim Dowling went to go work for Girl and Chocolate to film oh, Mouse. So he, and so I kind of went with him and oh, started getting cool. hooked up with uh, chocolate yeah. boards. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Just kind of rode those for a while. And then yeah. was skating with all the dudes. Yeah, and yeah. So and, I then never, hap- and then it happened naturally. Yeah, so that was that. the only sponsor me tape I ever sent was mm-hmm. to Rodney Mullen. You know, and when he asked that's for cool. part two, I said no. And then... But then chocolate, I was just with the dudes all the time. So yeah. they just put me on. You yeah. Know, was that... Eventually, when you know? uh, Listen came out, was that like... You're, I was skating chocolate boards at the time. But yeah. that, was that like, oh, wow, we need to fuck with this dude. Like, chocolate was all that. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yeah. What else would they say? But you and yeah. Robbie in that part, you and Robbie in that part, oh. I feel like you guys both got on chocolate well, and girl. Because Robbie was on blind. Yeah. He was on blind. Yeah. You know, so. I feel like that was that was the big part for both of you guys. Right? Yeah, for sure. That, that got you on the girl and chocolate can. Kelly, people still talk about the, that part to this day. You know? <laughs> I still talk about yeah. it all the time. I watch it, man. Part. It's a great part. It's, yeah. No music. That's why it's yeah. called Listen. Maybe yeah. Tim will uh, re-release it. Yeah, hopefully yeah. he will, man. And come Maybe on the show I, and talk about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly, dude. Get yeah. Tim down. But that's kind of like how, you know, and then it's just kind of okay, naturally. Yeah, and then they put a, me on the team and, you know, yeah. and that stuff. I figured, like, as a L.A., like, person yeah. in L.A. skating. But how old were you? I guess that's sort of my... I'm always well, been I started skating curious. at, like, 15. That's crazy. Dude. And then, late. Yeah, yeah, I started late. That's and then really uh, 16, 17, 18. I must have been, like, 18, 19, something like that when I got on. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, I was a courthouse king back then. I was skating <laughs> the courthouse every day, you know. Oh, I'm aware. Yeah. Yeah. That was my local playground. Yeah. You know. Anything else you want to know? What else? I mean, what else you got? Ton, man, you know? Know? Okay. Well, maybe just maybe just a little nux on the um, oh, yeah. Transworld part. Thank you, bro. Oh, you're, you like you too, shit. bro. You're Transworld yeah, part so. too. What was it called? Um, perpetual, perpetual motion. Motion. Yeah. 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 That was great, dude. I was hyped on that. Yeah. That was a dream come true. It's funny because like the filming's so fucking great in that, dude. Who filmed that? 
Well, that was John Holland's last. Uh, it was John Holland. Yeah. Last yeah. Transwell video. Which oh, was, really? Which made it really special. That's yeah. And Chris Thiessen also. Wow. Yeah, they both they both did a great job. But it was like it was so meaningful to me to have John Holland film some clips. Like, Fuck I mean, yeah. those are the videos I grew up watching. Like, he's so sick. A legend. My Transwell yeah. video sucked though, dude. It so didn't. I'm gonna <laughs> take those knuckles back. No, you know? no, no. You can't. Why did your I got because I, I had a I had a uh, uh, Achilles tendon. Your part injury. sucked. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. The video did not suck. You hit no, on the whole video. I said my, vid- yeah. my video part. <laughs> oh. I had a ruptured yeah. Achilles tendon. Ooh, so yeah. it just was your play. So I was literally yeah. trying to skate on like a fucked up Achilles. Yeah. You know, the whole but time. it's just it's smooth. Up, I like yeah. it in that song. I have so, that song. I, I, a... I call it my mellow part. That's like a beard part. Oh yeah, my yeah. unkept, yeah. Yeah, yeah, my unkept look. <laughs> <laughs> does that beard? Does that beard get a little red, tingy? Dude, red? Does it? No, oh. no. Thought he was a ginger. Thought he was maybe a fake ginger. Yeah, there's a lot of them out there. Sandy brown. Yeah. Yeah, whatever they call that, you know. But see, that could be mistaken with the right sun. Yeah, you, no, I can you know? see that. Yeah. yeah, you're just like it's funny because you're a complete different dude with that beard. It, oh like, God! <laughs> see, I don't even like to talk about those days. You know, there's one yeah. picture on the internet I wish I can get rid of. Yeah. It's <laughs> fucking. It. Yeah, I was on a you're tour. Yeah. I was on a tour after yeah. a month, and like I think Kenny took it or some fucking Kenny. Yeah. You can hire people to to do that. Yeah. Well, you know how off. they do it though. It's it's weird. They don't. It doesn't they, fully go. No, they it flood just, it. Yeah, with it new pushed. content and it gets pushed back. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's crazy. Yeah, there's a really good uh, book I read recently. Um, so you've been publicly shamed. Yes. Have you heard that? No, book? but I've heard the same topic be talked about. Probably. Another, yeah. yeah. It probably was him. Maybe. Honestly, the maybe author. It was, yeah. But yeah. it's so interesting. It's all about these people who made the posted the wrong photo right. and just their lives are ruined. You know, mm-hmm. or they made like a bad Twitter joke. The, the craziest one was this woman made a Twitter joke right before she boarded a flight to... Uh, I heard about that. She got shamed down. in Africa? Oh, yeah. She, she was flying from, yeah. I think, London to South Africa. And yeah. when she landed in South Africa, it was like... It was... She World just, They news. wouldn't even... Yeah. Like, yeah. she had just been so destroyed. She'd already been fired. Every person in her life was like, I'm so sorry they're doing this to you. What did and she like, say? Do you remember what she said? It was something it was like... gnarly. Obviously sarcastic, but like, yeah. if it, it taken out of context, like it was she's bad. It was like something about AIDS or something like that. It's, it's it can, crazy. It can do it Anything, to you. And then you're done. And then that's your life on the internet. But you know? it's like it's somebody's like, little tweet that probably gets like maybe one... Like, right, I think she had like you never you know, know. But went viral. a few people yeah. that she was friends with, but then it like slipped into the viral train saying. and it's then it was crazy gone. You know, yeah, that shit happens, yeah. dude. I'm waiting for the day I go viral. You know, it's good. I would love it. Yeah, what are you talking about? Dude? Switch over there. Was, <laughs> I've got about four thousand views on, that on YouTube. You know, no yeah. more than that. More than that? Yeah, four, it's, it's a, almost at twelve k right now. Twelve k. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Huh? Chris has watched that twelve thousand times. Yeah. It's actually probably my mom. Yeah. Brian, yeah. Yeah. Loop, you know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank God for moms. Yeah. You know? That's but why we get so many views on uh, the Nine Club, yeah. Raj. My mom. My mom watches it all the time. Yeah, yeah. See, you that's yeah, see, our, that's why. Is there a three repeat? people watch this show, <laughs> and uh, our parents yeah. watch the rest? Yeah. Is there a repeat button on <coughs> YouTube that it can automatically Just loop? No, loop? she goes back and yeah. clicks it again. Oh, good. Yeah. good. <laughs> all right. Oh, let's go back to the uh, so the Organica, right? How, yeah, when did so. you actually turn pro? For so I turned pro for Organica in 2011. 2011. Yeah. Okay. So you're good with with dates and everything too. You well, know that like one. The... That one was funny because it was like when everyone was putting out parts with like a date. You know, oh, like how okay. cool can we make the numbers? Right. And so 12, 12, 12. Yeah, that or, kind of yeah. thing. So that's why like I always remember it because it was one eleven or it was eleven one. 11 or something. Why not 1, 11, 11? Because I think Nigel was putting out a part that day. Right. 11, 11, 11? Literally, I think that's what was going on. Oh, yeah, we 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 talked about it in that. Yeah. Oh. And it was, uh, it was, it was like an idea we'd had and then we, we saw that Nigel was putting out a part and we're like, oh, shit, like, is this weird? Are we doing it? Like, like we, we had the idea. I don't know. It's like, I'm I'm glad that that isn't really a thing anymore. (laughs) Hmm. So what did they, did they tell you that you're going to turn pro and everything and to to film for it? It was, it was, it was at a point where I had enough skate and enough footage and they wanted to, they wanted to do it. So. Now, like, do, when, when they turn you so pro, I like... I didn't did, resist. You didn't... Right. <laughs> I people, mean, I was... Yeah. It's weird, though, honestly. I feel like 
there were times where you know you're like i'm not ready like, well I don't yeah i mean well, i was gonna I ask like did yet. you have like interviews coming out and did you have like other video part like how like was it were you were you working up to that or did they just turn you pro i'd done a couple transworld interviews okay, and yeah. a little thrasher interview oh, and perfect. The, you know I'd, yeah. I'd been doing the, the, cover the magazine world, right i did yeah, yeah. So right yeah that was him. later yeah. oh yeah there it is yeah. right well, that's that famous over the, <laughs> over the yeah. uh, water yeah. thing. Yeah. Were you making more uh, money as an am uh, than pro? No, no, no. Not when I turned pro. I mean, to be 29 and still have somewhat of a career, like, it, sure. I mean, it's like so cool. Oh, like, yeah, I couldn't, for sure. I can't really believe yeah. it still. Like, so, I mean, you know, losing, I, I lost a, sh you know, shoe and board sponsor at the same time. So that was like a, oh shit, is it done? You right. know? Right. And then, so I'm very fortunate to like be back in back in it because it's it's. I mean, it's so crazy how many how much talent there is. Oh and my how, god! Yeah, you know, spread thin all these brands are. Yeah, but you're to, you you're a talented well, dude, man. I mean, you know, I'm trying. You know? so yeah. I mean, back to the going pro. I right. was just filming. Okay. Always putting out, trying to put out parts and right. you know photos in magazines. Okay. And. Yeah, I think what it we we had just done. Oh yeah, so towards the end of college, yeah. I made like a homie video, okay. and that was like a part that I'd put out, and then we just had a couple. I had a couple. That was a shuffle video. The shuffle video, yeah. Okay. Which was which was really fun. Was that straight to YouTube? We made DVDs. Oh, you and did. Sold them and wow. premiered and did the whole. How would you thing. make DVDs? Awesome. Did you like have a company do it, or did you just like burn them out of your computer? No, we just um, got some sponsorship money from everyone's sponsors and oh, then found a yeah someone i think it was in. and then yeah i just had footage i made a move to san francisco okay. well actually what happened was kelly and i were living together in san diego right you got our, sick of kelly <laughs> and you well to move fortunately out. i didn't have to is we, that when you guys were living with a scorpion that was a different house oh. yeah scorpion. that was that was that uh remember mm -hmm. that small story we had, no, like tell, Andy tell had so Andy had a house with uh, a Andy. with like scorpions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had scorpions and tarantulas and he would just go oh, out to the a, desert and bring stuff like back. Like rattlesnakes Weird. and shit like that. Yeah, he had another <clears throat> He wasn't was, even going to a pet <laughs> shop. He was going no, to the he desert. Was just catching them. Oh, and so God. one night we were I don't know if you were there. Oh, actually. I heard about this thing. I do remember. Yeah, about. this was like the scariest night of my life. So Smollett comes over and he's like messing around with the scorpion is like oh what's up on the scorpion? table or in the like, cage it's in a, it's in a little okay. aquarium and so he like throws it what? and the scorpion just like flies into the <laughs> living room we're like where'd it go oh, God. and like i like looked for it for so long and i was sleeping on the couch so i was like extra <laughs> paranoid about this scorpion like it was like a real big one too you know what i mean like a like is not it just a black like, kill you like it probably yeah. could you was know it what it a mean? black like one not, or one of those like weird like like I feel like it was like white or something yeah. weird. Yeah, but um, you gotta use a black light to find those things. Really? Yeah, use oh, a black light and they 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 appear. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. finally we thought to lift up the couch like the next morning and it was just right there under the oh, under where wow. I was sleeping, which was so so sketchy. But so yeah, that slept. was different. So you slept. I slept on the couch. Yeah, it was like so scary. I just kept waking up like fuck that. You know? <laughs> But it was better than sleeping on the floor, which is also where With I was the sleeping at that right, point. Yeah, right. but uh, yeah, I think scorpions like to like hide under rocks and different little things. Yeah, so they know, found they a little know. spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was a different. That was a different skate house. Yeah, we right. had a skate house in San Diego in Pacific Beach. You know, f really fortunately, we got evicted. Yeah, oh. just like <laughs> it like really put us into our place. Yeah, to do shit, we like. had so many people like also living there, and like yeah. it was in the like. San Diego is a fun place. Yeah, it but it was in like the center of the like party beach. Uh -oh. And so anyway, <laughs> we get evicted. Yeah. I throw my stuff into storage, go on, okay. a, go on a trip to Thailand that ends up India. Like I, oh, geez, I get to a wow. point where I'm like, I just kind of like get a, get a spot. So I moved into San Francisco. Okay. It was just right at that time. Like, oh, we have enough footage for a part. Let's do it. Dope. So, yeah. So long circle back to yeah no 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 that's sick them. though dude that's yeah. sick so now you're pro i mean you were on a, you were on organica for a long time dude yeah right? like, yeah, like yeah. nine eight yeah, nine yeah. years yeah it was about Jeez, that yeah that's a long fucking that's i know a run, it, was, you it know? was it was so great yeah so when you said you lost both your sponsors at the same time like what was that what was the deal with that like or did organica so organica that, just unfortunately went under like yeah it they basically went under doing, it was just right. it was um yeah i mean it, i think it was like a a time when KO's overhead was 
too he high right. and and organica being one of the smaller brands. i heard it was just, kelly's paycheck i wasn't there at that time no those those were great years yeah. at organica okay. and it was it was honestly like such a such an an, that was an amazing a great time. Fucking team though carl yeah. adelmo you miles. like geez, miles oh my yeah. god yeah we had a, an awesome squad and it was really For unfortunate sure. i mean yeah when it just after a while, paychecks stop showing up, and right. you're not the communication really isn't there. Then yeah. it just you know. And so that's we, a left, shame. we left. We left on know, good that's terms. That's a shame, right? But I mean, yeah. like the communication in skateboarding. I mean, you're a yeah. part of the company, right? Yeah. No matter what, like it, the communication should be there. Yeah. You know, and I feel like that's a big problem with a lot of companies, right, Raj? Yeah. We talk about it a lot here. We talk. Yeah. We do. Yeah. yeah. So did yeah. DVS come around uh, after that? They hit me up. Um, uh, about a year ago. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And Carrie's the Carrie gets is the team manager there. Got you. He pushed for me and oh. to get involved with DVS, and that's okay. been kicking off well. I mean, Sick. I have a I have like actually the last trick in my sovereign part was my first shoe sample. So oh. I'm like already like in a. Is this sample right here? No. No. That's just right. the, oh, you yeah. got a new like, you got a new pro shoe. Yes, yeah, so I was. Right. It's been it's been really fun. Yeah. Designing you know, it. going from the ground up, and they're so receptive. Yeah. Like, all right, I want. Let's just try this, and they're able to. Do it. Bring forward a sample pretty quickly wow. that I can actually skate in. Like so, it's been it's been fun. Sick. I've been really stoked. That's, yeah, that's dope, dude. Yeah. When does it do out? I think fall of next year. Fall of is next year. How it goes? Like yeah. it's like a, it's so like a weird. Ways it's so crazy. How... I know to even say the words fall eighteen, you're like that is not I know. something I got to worry about. Like right. that's far away, but it'll come up quick though. It'll yeah, no, you know, like, the world. Yeah. Congrats yeah. on that. That's Thanks. fucking amazing, dude. Yeah. yeah. Paycheck's gonna go up a little bit from those royalties, man. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. 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 What are you getting for shoe? Yeah. yeah, I don't Hope know. you got a good I deal, man. Looked at the contract. You know? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me read it over. Yeah. yeah let me. Yeah. Forward, forward it to me. Away. Yeah. I'll handle it from here. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I'm gonna compete with the border. You know, Ryan Clements. You know? Oh yeah. Yeah. Just I'm start gonna. Your own thing. I mean, you I'm, meet with I already have you and me, dude. You're my first client. You know? Yeah. I need one. Sorry, Raj, Kelly, this is separate I mean, from Kelly Club. <laughs> Kelly still gets me. 5%, though. Fuck no. This is just me, dude. You know? Yeah. Chris gets, called, every, Chris gets everything. It's called the skateboarder. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Spelled S K A T B O R D. Double the E or something like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Clemens, watch out, dude. Yeah. You know, I'm coming for your ass. Yeah. So that's fucking rad, though. Congrats, yeah. man. I hope you. I hope that does well. You know? Me too. Yeah. I'm stoked. It's yeah. like a. It's a really fun process to. I bet. You right. Know, do that. Because I, I <laughs> when I did the when I went through that with Circa, yeah, that was like a bittersweet process because I designed the shoe, they advertised the shoe. I'm pretty sure they made all of them, oh, and then shit. they basically like filed bankruptcy or whatever. Wow. And like and you never the whole team. So I, I skated some sh- samples again. Yeah, but like, I think they changed the name. I think they just took my name off it and ah. changed it to the Baron or something. Just made Someone, it a team shoe. Yeah, I think it was. God, a team that shoe. that sucks. Which is a bummer because like, I was like, a, all right, sign the two-year contract. Right. I'm stuck. This is going to be moving forward. I I had even gone to. I spent like a month in China mm. with a buddy, with Patrick Walner, filming like the commercial, you know. Oh. Like, and then Would you go to the factory is out there too? No, no, like, just, okay, staying, just filming. You know, okay. like we had a, we had like, all right, let's go to the, some weird sort of off the beaten path Sick. cities. God, yeah. what a fucking, oh, got the rug pulled out from under you, man. That's that was horrible. Little, yeah. Jeez. But it's just like, again, I mean, this... It's the skateboarding world. Like I right. can't take it, any of it. Uh, yeah. Too personally, because yeah. I understand it's a, it's a crazy business, and it's, a lot of people do take it personally. You know, yeah. uh, egos get in the way and all that stuff. It's yeah. uh, it's a lot, man. Do so, you? What's up with the headphone sponsor? Do you guys have that? No, we don't. Have, we yeah. don't have no sponsors. Dude. I'm still waiting for the. I'm still waiting for the podcast because i listen to a lot of podcasts you're still and waiting for it to be like well i'm waiting for that. the and our presenting sponsor right. for the nine club is yeah. you know like, i feel like right. we'd be really good at that you'd be amazing commercial. and you know what they do yeah. most of the time they just banter about yeah. the exactly whatever they're given and do you think we yeah. could sell a shower curtain you probably could so i mean who knows what you could you, you could yeah. sell casper mattresses Casper, we want a good night's sleep, Raj. You try Casper. Yeah. You know, I got one the other day. It was it's fucking you amazing. One. You yeah. bought one? No, they sent it to me. You oh. know? Yeah, it's Did, great. What'd you do on it? I slept on it. Oh my all uh, night? All night. Slept no. through, didn't even wake up once. Really? Yeah. No Where more bed bugs, is, huh? No more bed no nothing, Raj, you know? Casper mattresses. Go get it. Casper.com. Boom. Yeah, there you go. There it is. Yeah. 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 Boom. Send them an invoice. Send them an invoice. Yeah, I mean, what if you just did that? Like, send them an invoice? I mean, just put it in and send them that straight <laughs> up. They yeah. want to send it to yeah. already. We'll yeah. send, like, yeah. send you the link. You can yeah. confuse them enough where they're like, did we? Had... Who made this deal? Yeah. Okay, cool. Whatever. Just send them the check. Yeah. Shit. I just think the, the 
fact that you can just listen to it. It's cool. It's right? great. Yeah. yeah. I, I wanted it to be like wherever there's a radio or wherever there's some like if you turn something on and look for yeah. us, we'll be you there. You can find yeah. it on any device. We'll be there. Yeah, yeah like SoundCloud, a- anything. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get on Spotify, but it's very hard to get. Yeah, I have to go through like a third party mm. person. We always get requests yeah. to be on Spotify. I'll tell you what, I like the podcast yeah. over Spotify because if um so I'll so I've been since I moved to Venice, you know, mm-hmm. I'm paying rent now. Yeah. So I've been doing like a little uh been doing this thing called Instacart on the side. Oh, Have you yeah. heard of it? What is that? That's, it's, uh, it's funny. I like delivering food, delivering groceries. Yeah. yeah. So I basically just like go to Whole Foods, pick up some bags, and then drop them off. Oh, you do that. And it's amazing it's like a because yeah, and like people just people will tip, especially here on the west side, like outrageously. Like really, sometimes really? I'll get like sixty bucks for dropping off two bags. Shut or something. up. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's hit or miss. But you're not. Are that. you getting the groceries yourselves? Like going in and picking them out? No. Or? They, they have like a shopper. Oh, and then and so I just grab the bags. I see, Sometimes yeah. the way the app works is depending you on where you are. It and yeah, some some you just might have a new job. I don't know if I want Roger delivering. My I know food. that was just about to say, <laughs> yeah. Raj. I mean, I hope those bags are stapled together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, where, some, where's the Stellas I ordered? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I I do it like once a week. Oh, okay. Mondays. Oh, wow. And so you guys just like hang out with hang me out, yeah. on Mondays. Yeah. But what I'll say about the podcast okay. is that since I'm always using the map app, oh, yeah. it pauses to give uh, directions. It pauses it. Whereas Spotify, it'll just talk over. Oh. So Spotify is kind of annoying for the car because it like doesn't. Okay. And same with YouTube. Like if I'm just trying to watch it or have it on, right? the, the directions just like talk over it and throw it off so that's no. cool though but yeah it's yeah. been funny and honestly that's how like i found almost all the spots i skated oh, on just for that around. little stop yeah Sick. Just right. like because i'm i'm basically just driving around to weird little corner pockets yeah. of the west side like never go i there. wouldn't go otherwise wow. so then i'm like okay wow photo for you later go. rush see making money is not that hard <laughs> You know, <laughs> nice. you got, you got, got it. Yeah. What's it called? Instacart. Instacart. Yeah. Okay. Are you always running back to the same like Whole Foods or? It depends on where you land. Like it's okay. a pretty sophisticated app. Like so, if I end up over in Santa Monica, starting here in Rose, end up like up in the Palisades, it'll send me to like. What if you have like an emergency and you got to go to the like your wife's going to deliver baby or something and you with gotta... the app? Yeah. Oh, you just, I guess you just came up on some groceries as well. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I want to talk about old friends. You oh this, yeah, you got this company, Old got Friends. Little, yeah, you know? how long have you been doing Old Friends company. for? I feel like a year and a half, maybe okay. like coming up on two. That's not a long time. It's yeah, it still you know? feels new. I That's mean, it's great. like yeah. my buddy Chris Collins. Okay, had the little illustration. He drew yeah. it, and yep. he had the the, the idea. kid holding the board. Yeah, the, and yeah. He, and he had the name. Yeah, and I and he didn't really know what to do. He was kind of thinking maybe he wanted to like start a skate shop down oh, the line yeah. or something. Okay. I'm like. I like that little graphic. Right. Let's make some hats and just see what we can do with Perfect. it. Because I love the name. And I've long wanted to do something where I'm in control of it. Yeah. And I get to I get to experiment. I get to make videos with my friends. There and you go. It's just been so fun. Because it's a, it's just been straight collaborations with all the people who I like. Oh, who cool. are just, who are, you know, talented in whatever way. Right. But I will yep. say, you know, Back 40 was like oh, yeah. part of our inspiration oh, when we were you. when we were talking about yeah. it and like the kind of things. I mean, we, we've we made like little shorts and, yeah. you know, I, yeah. I just, I loved the way that your approach was just oh, like, this is going to be fun. Yeah, and that's Mark how and, I wanted me, to. Me, Mark and Kenny, a little Back 40 little that thing. That didn't last very long. No, it didn't. I mean, you know what? We're still open to it, Raj, if yeah. we want to yeah. do a little video or something. But you know what? I think when we got into the clothing thing it kind of changed the dynamic for us. You know? Yeah. It did. It, it wasn't this like fun. It became a business, you yeah. know, and that kind of like, I don't know. It was just weird. It kind of took the fun out of it for us. I yeah. think, you know, I, I mean, it's stressful, bad, you know, and it's like, because um, immediately we had distributors and skate shops and yeah, now we we're doing all this stuff and we, you know, we are, are we couldn't whose role is what you know it was just this whole thing it was all chris it was all me (laughs) was it basically just you doing like little videos at first and that was it that was it yeah Yeah. like we wanted to bring the fun into skating because at the time too you know it was very serious yeah all the serious videos and slow motion and it's like dude skating's fun like let's just have fun we'll do these stupid fucking skits you know that we think's funny 
maybe everybody else will. You yeah, know? I love yeah. it. Yeah, Thank so it's it, it was that approach that I I really like. Dope. And um, I mean, uh, on top of that, with old friends, you know, I love I love making skate videos. Yeah, I like editing. I need a platform exactly. to put stuff yeah, out. That's you know? the raddest thing to have that platform yeah. where you could just do where, whatever you want. Exactly. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And in the meantime, you know, like hopefully grow a, a brand into yeah. a, into a business, a love, real business. I, I mean, it's that. just it's just me and Chris and. Yeah. We're figuring out as we go, and it's been a lot of. It's that. been great. Yeah. When, you, when you said you do cl- cl- collaborations with like different people and stuff, what's Meaning, a collaboration? So, for example, my well, like your friend, you do these uh, these uh, cruiser boards made of yeah, wine so that's, barrels. That's like a perfect example. Okay. Like, like I have friends who like to, you know, they they're little artisans and they yeah. have like little projects. Like our one, the first one, mm-hmm. big one that was like a real. I can't believe it worked, but okay, makes these skateboards out of uh wine barrels yeah which is so breaks down, really interesting yeah so he breaks know? down a wine barrel and the they're com, um, comprised of uh staves is what the little pieces oh, of oak okay, wood are called yeah. and then he puts them together and then just but like he, the like, natural uses, like, concave the metal from the wine barrel around to hold it together yeah. and it's a yeah, frick so it and have looks, you seen them kelly they're I don't super think, i haven't seen a person i don't think really cool. interesting and the crazy thing is they the natural Concave. concave of the barrel like works as a skateboard it, it's it so makes, funny it's it like, actually kind of forms this like nose yeah and tail. i mean it's right. like funky and it's yeah. really weird when it's just standing on it but i mean it was like a you know kind of high-end thing that we were selling like, and yeah. and people bought them well, how much all were you, over uh, 90 bucks or something right no they were like 230 whoa yeah and people were down i mean oh, we were selling the complete, complete. Yeah. yeah the complete yeah got you right, right. yeah wow yeah and that was great because spitfire we did a little collab wheel oh. for the cruiser wheel like that oh. they were hopped on board and kind of gave you know bona fide us a little yeah. bit which was so so awesome jim what's crazy is about the uh the wine barrels is like they they're oak trees right but they have to be like a hundred years old yeah or something aged, to yeah. make no a wine barrel yeah. you know that Raj? Yeah. Yeah. you know that I go one taste, you know. Yeah. Oh my bad, I yeah. forgot. Yeah, yeah. Into, <laughs> into Macula. Yeah. yeah, and the cool thing about the boards was depending on the, um, you know, whatever wine was in it, it would yeah. have a different stain. So oh. sometimes they're this light pink, sometimes right. they're like a deep. Purple. Did it smell like wine? Yeah, still? I mean, if you smelled yeah. it, it was cool. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So that was that was like the first like. You just, you're not doing those anymore. I mean, we just you made, should bring them back. We we probably will, but we j- we it's wanted so to just do like a limited drop. How of, many? You know? oh. How many were there? We just did twenty. So, 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 so the next one we're doing, we're doing these cool wallets. Oh. They're gonna be a. Oh, are they are they tape wallets? <laughs> they should be. I, it's so funny because we're doing we're doing some wallets with um with my buddy G Son who I, I met at UCSD. Okay. One of the few skaters I met, um and he just you know hand makes these leather wallets that are awesome. Oh, dope. But when I was in. <laughs> When I was in school, I would like had all kinds of weird hustles and duct tape wallets was one of them where I would just like make so many duct tape wallets and like wow. sell them. And like I rocked mine. He, for, you actually, he made really good I, ones. But I've seen yeah. the, I've And seen I could whip duct- it up in like 10 minutes. I've seen the duct tape. Oh, should we do that right? Do we have, do we have, we have duct tape around the corner? It's a little yeah. hot in here for the... Oh, maybe we'll get but Kelly. I can, the next could episode, we, could we do? We'll get Kelly the next oh, episode. Yeah, to make, the we give him, yeah. We I'm gonna give be him, in a, I'm gonna be in a wheelchair next episode. Well, corner. Kelly's give, getting hip surgery, yeah, and uh, he'll that. be in a wheelchair. And I, there. We're gonna have to lower his little table and everything. Yeah. But I just uh, want to learn how to do the, the the tape wallet thing. Maybe. I'd also like crochet beanies. Well, you, you crochet, <laughs> but no one. It, that was always just like some girl would be like, "Ooh, make me one." Right? Like, okay. What like the fuck eight hours later. Yeah. Yeah. You self-taught crocheter? No, that was a. I actually learned that at skate camp. Oh. It was like one of the little things. <laughs> Weird. Were you on yeah. the girl's side of the skate camp? <laughs> what was going on there? Yeah. <laughs> like Shane's found himself tight, in the girl's side. Like the, like the tough guy sewing. Right. Yeah. Oh, maybe Kelly, <laughs> the next episode, you Andy could Roy crochet a <laughs> beanie. Roger has to wear it. Oh, yeah. Him. Roger will wear the crocheted Sharp. beanie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, what color do you want, Raj? Whatever he wants to do. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? You don't want a yeah. color preference? I, I don't care what color. So... Yeah, well, let's talk about Sovereign. You just got on Sovereign. Yeah. Congrats. I'm, I'm really psyched. That's Thank amazing, you. dude. Yeah. How long were you without a board sponsor? About a year okay. and a half. Oh, wow. Well, ish. Yeah. Oh. What were you doing for yeah. boards? So, Jim at, and everyone at Deluxe was hooking me up. There we right. go. Jim's yeah. name yeah. gets Always. mentioned again. Yeah. Always you know? yeah. When's he Always hero. When's he Jim the hero. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> And, um, so he's giving you real boards. Oh, were you thinking like, oh, well, honestly, get on real? Had, no, because no. it was it was one of those things where it was like, I'm not, I'm not trying to get on the, a deluxe brand. Not 
I mean, I would love to, but yeah. I'm not going to like tr be trying to okay. do that. Okay. And, but Jim is just the kind of guy who's so understanding and yeah. he's like, look, like, we can hook you up. We're going to, you know, if you need boards, we got you. Cool. You know, you'll, cool. you'll find a home and it'll Dope. work out. And it was just cool. And, so then but, how, what did the sovereign, how did that? So Baron Mikey reached yeah. out to me okay. and um, it just, uh, it just felt right. Like yeah. I was really psyched on the look of the brand and Dope. they seem to have, I mean, was they're one like, of the few brands in skateboarding that I feel like really has an art direction. Right. They're like yeah, they do. sticking to it and you kind of know like, oh, that's their look. For sure. For and so sure. I was, I was psyched it's on Vogue that. Vogue meets Alien Workshop. They're, yeah, they're yeah. doing their thing <laughs> yeah. and it's, it's, it's awesome. And so. Was this like it during came, like Battle of the Barracks when they were, when they hit you up? Or, yeah. Well, yeah? it was, it was right before I moved out here. And so that was, oh. yeah. And so I'd been talking to them, but I wasn't really sure if it was a, okay. if it was a real thing or if it was just going to be something yeah. like, Hey, skate the boards, you know? Right. But, um, when I moved out here, it was like, all right, we're going to, they, they, it was cool. Cause they were just like, Hey, we really want to put out a board and if you can get some clips and make some kind of an edit. And I'm like, no, I want to film a part, you know, yeah, like you fucking filmed it in like four and a half months. Yeah, I mean, I I still like don't even really feel like it was like a part part, but what do you mean? it was it just was it wasn't a part of anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good that's point. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> I honestly think about that every time I say it. Now I'm like, oh my god, Tony how, Hawk's Tony Hawk Tony statement. Hawk yeah. wisdom just like what would you call in. it then? I mean, I, it just seems too kind of vain or egotistical to call it like my video, like, right? Of like me. how do you like? Uh, yeah, but what do you what call else? it now? Though I don't, I don't know. What section you, uh, uh, edit. A section is still a part. Yeah, I still think it's a. But part. see, my it's a video I, part. I wanted to just make an edit, and yeah. like I get, you know, my the boards are gonna my come in. Edit. It's yeah, a, it's, yeah. A, it's like a music video. It's just right. your yeah. video. Yeah. yeah, and working with Ryan, who filmed every mm -hmm. clip, which was cool because I oh. haven't filmed a uh, uh, video with one filmer like since exclusively. Trans World, maybe. No, since like a homie video in a like when I was 17 or something like oh, that. You, know? you didn't film the trans world with John Holland or maybe you went, but they're out always filmers, okay. you know, like right. that's what I mean. Like yeah, just gotcha. all one yeah. filmer. Okay. And so he, uh, oh. he nailed it and it was, it was fun. It was, it was, it was great to move here to LA right. and with a, with a project in mind right away, Sick. you know, yeah. and to then have a, you know, have a say in the board graphic mm -hmm. and work with Alex who uh, does all the art direction. Yeah. Like it was, it's just been, it's been really cool. No, it's rad, man. It, yeah, you I killed the stoked. video part too. Whatever you. your, your edit, I'm, you know, whatever yeah. you want to call <laughs> it, you know? It, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah. I always never talking to you cause you're always like, yeah, when I do my part, I think of every trick, like it's just like addition, like you have a certain tricks in mind Yeah. and then you, at you kind of, you kind of have an idea basically what you want it to look like. And then it, that's your piece. Yeah. To me, I'm like, I just go out and skate where the fuck happens, happens. But you, that's why I think you are so good at making video edits or parts yeah. in videos is that you really have a plan for all the stuff you want to do. Yeah. Kind of going out there. Yeah. I'll make a list of like 50 tricks. You oh, you know? will. You and really, then, oh, okay. And I'll like, you know, remind myself of the list and make a sub list every oh. week of like what I'm trying to do. And wow. It never Should works out that way, yeah. you know, but at least it kind of. You have an idea. Gives me a sense, of, you know. But you've had a like and a lot of video parts it's crazy yeah i've tried to put it's a like part over, out like every 10 year or 12 parts i mean i don't yeah i don't know i've tried to like at least have a, a part that i'm pretty proud of like yeah. every year that's know? amazing so, though yeah. jesus i mean i just i don't know i just love skating so much and the whole yeah. the, the whole process is just is It'll drive you crazy, but it's rewarding too. Yeah, you know, you've had some good songs out there too, dude. Yeah, my songs have been all over the place too, but I like I like mixing it up and not really, you know. I remember hearing this story from like Daughters or something where he's like, "Dude, Walker texts me. He's like, dude, I have an epiphany that I have to skate to a Lil Wayne song. <laughs> like, this is like a little way back. It was just and like, I never did. It still kind of <laughs> breaks my heart. Do you have a Lil Wayne song you want to skate to? I did then. I'm, you, pretty, I'm dude, sure I did the, then. The, yeah, like all of us all wanted yeah. to skate. Lil the Wayne fact that Little Wayne became a skater is still so <laughs> mind-boggling. Like yeah. we were so obsessed with his music, and like I remember thinking, like we we would talk about, it, like I bet Little Wayne would be down for skaters, like yeah. just hanging around him. And the fact that that ends up happening is so mm -hmm. cool. Well, I mean, Chris talking about, oh, we could get we gotta get Lil Wayne on the show. It's kind of a joke. Yeah. yeah. Next thing happens. you know, he's the fact right that there. he's sat here <laughs> is so yeah. incredible. For I can't sure. believe that. So the Sovereign. Yeah. No, are you, are you guys planning on doing any? I mean, you just came out with a part. Obviously, what was that like? Last week or something. You yeah. Know? Uh, did you? Are you guys ago? planning on doing anything? Like I uh, think they'll. I mean, they'll continue to be putting out 
edits and probably okay. working towards a video, right. which I think would be great. Cause they have a, Who's on Sodom right now? Is team. Mikey, so, Jack, Alex, yeah, so, so Midler. Yeah. Jack, I know, I yeah, Jack Fardell, time. Mikey have the other pro boards. Yeah. And then Midler, you know, he's destined for a board. Of course, yeah, he'll get one. He's the man. Yeah. And then Nate Greenwood. Okay, Dude, that guy. Yeah. He's good. 180 figgy five O's and shit. Like chilling. He can do anything he's he wants. So good, man. It's unreal. Yeah. yeah. And then um yeah, they have a they have a really uh like solid little flow squad that I skate oh. with every day oh, yeah. or every day I go skate with them that I'm like I'm I hope they all end up on the team because they're they're awesome. But. Yeah. Do you go skate with Mikey a lot or? Yeah, Mikey will come on. It's what's cool is being on a session where Mikey's taking a photo of me. Oh, That's like the coolest thing go. ever. I'm like, what? You're like my favorite skater. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> you know, like behind the fish islands under yeah. the stair set. Like that's awesome. I mean, that's fucking he's, rad. He's dude. the man. Yeah, and you've been, I, uh, you've been on a tear lately. There's some well, good things coming. Trying. I think he's always. Yeah. He seriously have been skating really, really well for the last like ten years, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, for yeah, sure. I'm but I'm just saying, like, I'm good just, things just, are yeah. with, the, with the shoe coming yeah. out and Sovereign and the video part. I mean, like, this is rad to see. Like, you just. Yeah, well, I'm just, just doing I mean, it. You know, I'm just happy Sick. to be able to still do this at all. Rad, like, yeah. as, as we, you know, as ever, as we all are. But yeah. it's just like. And very the, blessed uh, old it's friends awesome. and i mean you got some yeah. shit oh, yeah. going so on gonna, i love we're it we're gonna make yeah. for old friends we're gonna make a video oh you and are like, yeah that's gonna be oh. like i mean short parts you yeah know, but we'll have right well it's gonna be fun this guy's fucking yeah. 13th and 14th it. video part right here yeah like, already oh, planning it out yeah, already, he's got a list got let's, a see, list. Yeah, let's yeah. see that list what do you got on that list you know so but with old friends though do you have a team or are you just keeping it like because you said you're gonna no, make a video yeah it's just we'll, homies we'll see who comes through with footage okay. and that's that'll be the so team no for team? the year <laughs> oh yeah okay gotcha gotcha i mean it's yeah but it's that's group cool of, though i like to like the homie hookup and yeah. everything you know what else should we talk about the uh your travels maybe you you go on a lot of trips these weird places yeah you know? i went on i went on some really weird trips yeah yeah what's a weirdest trip you've ever been on the weirdest is when you're going to countries that you didn't know were countries and you're like in a, <laughs> oh. like, like where ex soviet like we went to nagorno karabakh that was yeah. one of those countries kelly was like dude it's cool you're traveling so much but like no one's even heard of these countries <laughs> dude like <laughs> Like no one even knows where you are. Well, no, I was actually concerned with that one time you were going to all like all these Pakistan or wherever. Yeah, like and when it, we get into the Middle East, it definitely it like, was like heavy shit going on at that time. Oh, you, for you weren't sure. opening a new account for us. That's why. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, but he's like, no, it's cool. He travels, but I was like, dude, you're like, he's going to Yemen, and it was like this crazy shit going. On. I'm like, dude, it wasn't me. Your parents, I know, were hitting you. Oh up. no, no, that's that's fully justified. Like, yeah. the, why were the you fear. going there? Well, so my friend Patrick, who okay. um, he's just an adventure filmer, passionate skate documentarian, and just wants to like, he literally has a, he has a book coming out soon hmm. with a photo from every country in Eurasia. Wow. So it's like 102 countries. And so for the last 10 years, he's been working on it. And so he would kind of scheme these skate trips where, you know, maybe no one's ever filmed a skate clip in you know, Yemen okay. or <laughs> Iran or, right. you know, like a lot of these, like a lot of the Middle Eastern blocks were countries were the most interesting because not a lot of people film skating there. So yeah. he would, you know, either get it paid for by Red Bull or someone, okay. which didn't work out in Middle East. No one was about Nobody to pay was, for it. Yeah. So that would be um, our own, you know, kind of come out of our own little okay. travel budgets. Uh, and you know then we would just see what we can get yeah and put it together and yeah when we went to when we went to um it was like the arabian peninsula okay started in oman and then it was jordan lebanon um yemen okay and uh palestine oh wow there was like a straight up houthi rebellion like a you know like an like this group came in ousted the president Got wow. kicked him out of the the palace, and it was a, you know, it's like it was a deal. full on. Yeah. It's still going on. I mean, that's like the part, the problem in Yemen right now. Okay. And I was spooked. I mean, I didn't want to go. Like I'm, their, their slogan is "Death to America," and I'm the only American <laughs> on the trip. And I'm like, I'm gonna fly into Sanaa. And like, it's the middle. Of, it's like the beginning of a rebellion. Yeah. Like, 
I don't know. Like, I don't want to be the <laughs> pussy who just, like, doesn't go. But, like, I'm I would scared, be. you know? Yeah. Just tell everyone you're Canadian. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no, seriously, yeah. I was thinking all those things. Like, I just don't want to be the one American. Yeah. You know, like, we're all Western tourists. Like, yeah. it probably wouldn't make a difference if there were some kind of situation to pop off. But still, it's just, like, I don't want to be that one guy. And, like, I on that one, I backed out. I, like, just met them in Jordan. Okay. Because I was just spooked. I was like, I don't, I just... And they were only going to be there for a day. They were, they were actually going to an island, huh. which is off the coast of Somalia. It's like, a, which is another like pirate heavy yeah, zone. Where it's say, just, it's right. just pirates area. like in yeah. like boats. Somalian that pirates. Are like, like yeah. that, you Cap, know, haven't you yeah. seen Captain Phillips? Yeah. No, I've just seen Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> so we, so I, I backed out and I felt like. Oh, you a, backed out? Yeah. I mean, I just, I, we were, th- we were there. I, I just went from Oman to Jordan, waited oh, for them. Okay. But like, it was just a shitty feeling being like, all right, guys, see ya. Right. I think all of your friends and family were like, hey, dude, yeah. maybe that's not the best idea right now. You know? Yeah. And I think we were all kind of glad. You could. Yeah. I mean, in that situation, like I, I understood and I like bought into okay, it, good. you know, but then there were, there were other times, like, I mean, my family, a lot of them freaked out when I uh, went to Iran yeah. and that was another one that I actually went with Kenny okay. and we were the only two Americans. Like, were you going to have like tour guides well, to so at these places or like... That trip was arranged by an Iranian skater and he wanted us to be the first kind of like Western skaters and pros to come and okay. skate in Iran. And so right. it's it's very tricky politically for Americans. They had a, um, a, a revolution in 1979 and they, you know, captured American hostages. And mm-hmm. it's basically just we haven't had a good relationship with them ever since. And so it's just like you have to go through a, uh, a guide program okay. to go. And we thought it was just going to be like, all right, whatever. It's sort of like um, something we'll deal with, but we'll still be able to skate. But it was it was not that at all. This guide picked us up at the airport, uh-huh. just grabbed us from the group, was like, okay, we're going. We have to be, we have to be crossing into the center of the city by 6 a.m. Like, let's go. I, we said goodbye to our, all of all our, of our friends, all these other European skaters and like oh. the Iranians. And then just like we were... Basically, Wait, he just this grabbed guy. you and Kenny. Yeah, because we were the Americans, okay. and it was a like a service that we didn't realize we'd paid for. That basically, it was just taking us to museums and cultural sites, and we could not do anything. Like we didn't, we didn't skate. No, it was like oh. we 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 found one day where we could skate at like a skate park, mm-hmm. but it was such a headache just ar- arranging it that we just. So you were like a group of, of another no, tourist? No, it, it was just this guide and me and Kenny Reed. And we Not just the skater. Like, the skater was the guide? No, just like a 78-year-old dude. And he Jeez. would take you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You couldn't even shake him? No, not at all. And I didn't want to either. Be After a while, felt at safer first, with him. No, it was just like, I don't want this dude to get in trouble. Oh. Because he's basically supposed to be watching us. Okay. And everywhere we go was, you know, it's like, I mean, you hear about people taking trips to North Korea. You yeah. know, you can go, but you're going to be watched, with, watched yeah. at all times. Right, and right. It's, it's not as extreme at all, but it's a similar kind of arrangement. Like, could you like, take photos of stuff yeah, out there? Okay. Yeah, and it was, it's honestly like everything felt safe so you had to do that no matter what to go that was there. what we realized that was the only way we were able to go in go to the country yeah was they assigned you some tour guide yeah right? yeah and he was cool we we eventually accepted it and we're just like all right we'll we're just chill we'll we're go just there. gonna be tourists so all the but, other skaters that you flew in with they went on the skate. they were just they skating were skating. iran like they were in any other country oh, it was wow. really cool yeah i mean it is cool to awesome. like go to these other countries that norm- normally you wouldn't go you yeah know? it's like where everybody goes is like china or barcelona or right or somewhere in europe yeah. you know it's like wow it's yeah sick. and it's all Patrick Waldner's like vigilance. He wow. just wants to get to these places and be the first to film mm-hmm. a clip in a, you know, like wow. he has all these little bucket lists. Like we filmed a clip on, uh, on, on the Palestinian side mm-hmm. of the, the wall, like mm-hmm. actually like wall got a clip, like skating wall on the wall. No yeah. way. Really? <laughs> He's like, this is like one of the last, you know, walls dividing two places like this is cool yeah. uh well dude this has been amazing man thank I've you had a great so time. much for stopping by yeah. dude i can't I feel like i've been a chad kathy but i feel like you always have a good conversation you like, talked to yeah. walker you're having he's an intelligent yeah. dude he you is. know yeah, just, he's probably got a high iq we couldn't get that out of him but yeah. i'm sure he's definitely uh, more pretty educated, up there he's you know? more educated than all three of us oh, bullshit kelly speak for yourself <laughs> hey man <laughs> you this know? guy went to college graduated it don't mean nothing roger you've been a little subdued this uh this episode sometimes roger 
Raj just liked to sit there, drink his beer, and enjoy the conversation. Raj, Raj got know? me. I mean, he's as an interviewer. Yeah, he's gotten me into some trouble before. <laughs> oh, because, really? Yeah, he. And this is why I was a little surprised, you know. <laughs> oh, he, he, no, he he made a, a video. Okay. No, so he interviewed me. I interviewed him at skateboarder. Yeah. And then just by I, himself. I remember this one. Yeah, yeah. Well, so for me, it was like... Did you know what they were going to do? No. I mean, our audience doesn't so, know yet. Yeah, so I'm, I do an interview did. with two dudes, yeah. you know. Jamie Owens and I interviewed yeah. him. and it went normally and whatever. And I just, thought I was probably pretty boring. And then I see it on the internet, and it's this model... In her, in her bikini. Basically, like, getting naked, asking all the questions. And then I'm like, just... Trick, oh, you yeah. tricked me. Yeah, you had a, did you have a girlfriend at the time? Yeah. Well, the oh, funny, she, yeah. yeah. The funny what thing is, is this? The funny thing is we we shot the interview and then I remember like I was driving home and I hit up Jamie Owens like, my dude, the interview went really good, but it'd be way funnier if we had <laughs> this. Wow. And he's like, we can make that happen. And then like uh, Chris Bywater, the art director, basically went on um, some model agency site and yeah. found that girl. It's so funny. And we shot it like three days later. Yeah. It was hilarious. So everyone was like, oh my God, that's such a cool, I can't believe that chick interviewed you. And I'm like, I never met her. Yeah. <laughs> like I was there by myself. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one, Raj. That was pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. Pulled that off. Yeah. Yeah, so you're not trying to get me in trouble this time, no. girlfriend or anything? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. You got any weird Thank questions, God. Raj? Yeah. I do have a weird question. <laughs> oh, okay. Is it tough being a ginger in skateboarding? Mm. But you know what, though? Let me tell you something. You don't look like a ginger, though. No. Take well, off your hat. It's there. Yeah. yeah. The red, <laughs> hair, oh, the yeah? red hair is there. Yeah. Okay. You know, tough isn't the word I'd use because we have a, um, what we call a, an army. Oh. <laughs> Gingers. Is you got a... You and Uyghur yeah. Yeah. Like Casey Uyghur. Rigney? Mm -hmm. yeah. Some Casey, of us have never Casey met Rigney. in person, but we know. Yeah. 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 You do. Who's, who's among us. Yeah. And, you know, like I said, I, I was hoping maybe your ginger beard would bring oh, yeah. you in All to right. the fold. Yeah. Because, I'm sorry you know, to disappoint we got a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry I'm not a part of that army. Yeah, that but uh, no, maybe we, the right we, keep our, we keep ourselves, uh, you know, morally uplifted. <laughs> and do you guys safe. have like these Skype meetings or do you have like, is it like the <laughs> secret society? Yeah, do you have like a I'm not going to reveal the agenda. Yeah. Of this guy's the, a Masonic you know. Mason over here, <laughs> kind of gingers. Yeah, but you know, we get by. Yeah. There are I feel like there's a good healthy chunk of us floating around. Yeah. But uh dude, I wish you the most success, dude, with the Thanks. sovereign and uh everything else you got going on. Old Appreciate friends, it. you Thank know. You. I hope yeah. uh you could send us a Thanks box pretty soon, you know. Yeah. It's a site seen your website. Got you got stuff. a lot of cool stuff. I like to get one of those cruiser boards if you re release those. those yeah, we might bad. have a we might be able to make yeah, that a little happen. Wine barrel. Yeah. I like that. There's one more thing actually. Yeah. Oh, as is gotta, as is tradition. Oh yeah. There's a what gift. You, you got a gift for us. Ceremony. Wow. Yeah, I, I hope you. What? But not be a wallet made of. I know. Tape. What is this? <laughs> oh, it's got, it a, it's got it in a, a, a Ralph's bag. I know. Oh, you want me to open? Let's yeah. open. Okay. Open up, Chris. What do we got? It's fucking heavy, this fucking thing. Oh, oh my look gosh. at that. It's a fucking cat. <laughs> look at that, huh? It's Larry. It almost looks like Larry. So I hear a lot. Yeah. Of, I hear a lot of uh, talk about this cat. That's Larry. amazing. These are and, uh, uh, tiles. Yeah. Yeah. That's great, dude. Thank you so much. <laughs> Where'd you find these tiles? <laughs> Look at that. So yeah. I, I'm not going to lie. Someone left this in my apartment. And I'm oh. sort of just like, <laughs> I've just re, been re-gifting it. <laughs> yeah, I've, just been, Christ. It, I've, been, no. I've been haunting my girlfriend with it. Like oh. we moved with it. And then yeah. like the next spot, she tried to throw it out. And then I'd like sneak it into somewhere in the house. Oh, you'd then, like it. You knew it would end up somewhere special. I actually, I actually don't know if I like it at all, but I just think it's, <laughs> I just think it's funny. And like now I hear, you know, I hear about your cat. Oh yeah. And yeah. I feel like, you know, maybe you'll hilarious. appreciate it. I love it. Dude, yeah. thank you so much. You're dude. welcome. I like well, I just like cats. You yeah. know, I, I grew up with cats. Well, I'm a cat guy, yeah. you know. And I am not. So your dog guy. I'm a dog guy. Either yeah. or, you know. Yeah. Raj is a rabbit guy. Yeah. So I, Kelly I, Kelly's a hamster guy. <laughs> uh <laughs> no, no, not a gerbil, a hamster. <laughs> God damn it, you know. He could be so, a gerbil guy yeah. too. Though. He could be a gerbil. Yeah, it's yeah, kind of the same. Yeah. Uh, they're rodents. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I don't know. If it doesn't have a. He doesn't have a name. She doesn't have a name. Oh, if oh, it's a she. It. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's Larry. Yeah. yeah, this could be Larry. If you want it to be. Look at that. Thank you, dude. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I love it, dude. We're gonna put this up. Uh, Thinking about that, that totally is a Walker <laughs> gift right there. <laughs> Larry and, yeah. and Crob. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> yep. That's actually kind of creepy. <laughs> My house is turning to Goodwill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's true. It's true. It's true.